Stephanie here again with another Cabbage Patch Kid doll repair and today we're going to work on toes. Now this is a little tricky, um, well not so much tricky, once you have your light bulb moment, once you uh, figure out um, the order of the stitches it will make sense to you and I'm hoping that this video will help things because it took me a little while and it wasn't until I saw a diagram on the open cabbage forum that it clicked for me. So I will definitely link to that um, that thread on the on the open cabbage forum just so you can take a look at it. Um, and so here I am just uh, getting my thread ready and and it's important to note here that um, this doll will be going to a little girl and, and it'll be hers to play with. It's not going into my actual collection. If it were I would probably make an effort and get thread that matched the doll's skin tone. But since um, since this is going to be well played with, I figure this nice thick thread will will do just fine. And it does show up a little better on camera, so um, hopefully this will help uh, show you. Now, this is my first attempt right here, and I, I am going to undo it. So I notice that um, when I start my stitch and I'm pulling it down, the toe isn't as, as big as I want it to be. So I'm undoing that and I will start again. So, uh, um, similar to other repairs, make sure that you um, have a large enough knot at the end so if you pull it through and you pull that thread tight, it, it won't budge. So make sure you have that and leave a tail on the end of it. So we're gonna start from the bottom and I'm a lot happier with the length of this stitch. And this is hit or miss. It may take you a couple of tries. Now this is the third repair I've done and um, and I'm sure as I continue to do this, I will improve with my technique. So, because it's not perfect. It's it's not going to match the factory uh, toes uh, to the left there. So start from the bottom and go to the top. And I'm going to double this stitch just to uh, strengthen it. And I'm going through that same hole in the bottom. And you'll note here that I'm not going through the same hole at the top. I'm going diagonally to the right. And I'm starting the top of the next toe. So that's the trick. That's all there is to it. You start, you go into the bottom, swing over, and start the next toe. This was my light bulb moment when I when I figured out that it's just a diagonal. You're just you're just pointing your needle diagonally to the other end and starting the next toe, and you'll be fine. So. I left that tail on the end of my knot because I'm going to double back and, and go over these toes again and then tie the the end of that. So this is this is the last one. And you'll see here I'm going up through the same hole at the top on this one. And when you double these threads up, make sure that um, they don't get twisted. It just looks nicer. So um, if you notice that they are twisted, just kind of loosen it up and, and and make sure that they're parallel to, they sit next to one another or on top of each other there. It'll just look better. So now I'm going diagonally uh, from the bottom to the top, um, going working to the left. So just doing the opposite of what I did before. And this just strengthens things so that um, hopefully they won't come apart on their own again. And see, it doesn't look at, you know, exactly like the left foot, it, and it won't. Um, I, I do think that, like anything else, it will be practice that um, will help me improve on this. This is, like I mentioned before, it's my second or third attempt at doing toes. So I imagine that um, things will improve. So this is the end of it. I'm just kind of going through that last hole there and this is where I'm just going to tie that knot up so that I don't have two uh, two tails on the toes just the one so tie it up a couple of times and that's it so again not perfect but um, I, th I think my little friend will be quite pleased to have toes on there and there they are so again the thread isn't um, doesn't match exactly, but uh, and now I'm just straightening out the threads, making sure that everything looks right. Well, I hope this helps, and um, practice, practice, practice. I think that's the key. <laughs> Thanks again for watching.